Welcome my friends to my 1 to 99 herb lore guide. In this guide I've got 3 methods for you to take you to 99, that should cover everyone and I've got a fast method, a cheap method and a profitable method. The fast method costs 219 mil and takes 33 hours, but if you want a ton of overloads by the end of this it will cost you 298 million. The cheap method costs 92.5 million and takes 67 hours. But if you create the potion from scratch, this method will cost 15 million and take considerably longer. And the profitable method is cleaning herb. This takes a whopping 334 hours and makes you 207 mil profit. I wouldn't recommend this method, but it is worth using in certain situations. I'll explain that once we get to that part of the guide. The only requirement for herb law is to complete droidic ritual as this takes you to level 3, I'll leave a link to the guide I use to complete it in the description. This quest takes about 10 minutes. So onto the useful items now and the first one is using portables. This is done by joining the portables FC to find out what world and what place it is to use them. The bonus portables gives you is a 10% more XP bonus. So for example if you use the cheap method you'd save 9 million GP and 6.7 hours which is a significant bonus. It also gives you a 5% chance to create an extra potion which again saves you a little bit more money and time. The second useful item is the scroll of cleansing which requires 20,000 dungeoneering tokens to be bought. This has a 10% chance to save an ingredient when adding a herb to the potion and a 12% chance to make the potion twice as fast. And the final useful item is the botanist outfit which when wearing all 5 pieces gives you a 6% XP bonus which saves you a lot of money and time. However unfortunately this is only acquirable through the treasure hunter so that kinda sucks. So a few final bits of useful information before we get into the methods. When calculating the time it takes for these methods I went with the assumption you'd be making around 2250 potions per hour which is easily beatable. So if you're fully on the ball, you'll definitely beat that and get slightly faster than the time recommendations I've given. This is also done using a load preset in the bank, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to use now, but this saves so much time. And finally, the prices will change from the time I make this video, but the time each method takes will remain exactly the same. So I've left a link to the herbal or cost calculator in the description, so you can just check how much it's going to cost you. It doesn't take long and is a really useful tool. So I'm going to start with the cheap method first as I think this is what most of you will be using. And just for this method as well I'm going to give you the cost if you were to make the potion from scratch so cleaning the herb and making the unfinished potion first as this makes a significant difference to the cost of the method. From 3 to 15 you will be making ranging potions. This currently costs 1.5 GP per XP so it's super cheap. And if you choose to clean the guam and make the guam potions yourself this will save you an additional 207 gp per potion which i think actually takes it to profit you need to make 75 of these and this will take you around two minutes costing you 7200 gp from levels 15 to 38 you'll be making serum 207 this is made by adding ashes to unfinished taramin potion each potion costs you 512 gp 560 need to be made at a cost of 8 GP per XP and this will take you 15 minutes to complete. This will cost you 162k in total but if you choose to make it from scratch you will save 104k GP. And now from levels 38 all the way to 99 you'll be making prayer potions which are made by adding unfinished Raynar to snape grass. 148,608 of these need to be made at a cost of around 9 GP per XP. This is going to take you around 67 hours to complete and costing 93 million. However if you choose to clean all the rain as yourself and make the potion from scratch this will cost you around just 15 million but will take a huge amount of time more to do so. It's probably not really worth it but the option is there for you. Now onto the fast and expensive method, I'm not going to give you the money you'd save by making the potions from scratch as this isn't relevant to this method, it's all about the speed of it. So from 3 to 26 you'll be making attack potions which are made with unfinished guam and eye of news. You need to make 307 of these at a cost of around 6 GP per XP. The total cost is 45k and this will take you just 8 minutes. From 26 to 38 you'll be making energy potions which are made by adding chocolate dust to Haralander potion. You'll need to make 322 of these 
This costs around 8 GP per XP again, costing 190k and will take you around 9 minutes. From 38 to 55 you'll be making prayer potions, as covered before this is made by adding Rainar potion to snape grass. Costing 7 GP per XP, you'll be making 1560 of these, costing 970k and taking just under 42 minutes to complete. From 55 to 63 you'll be making super strength potions, they're made by adding Quam potion and finished to limpwort root. You need to make 1620 of these at a cost of 9 GP per XP. The total cost of this is 1.7 mil and will take you around 45 minutes. From 63 to 66 you'll be making super restore potions by adding red spider's eggs to snapdragon potion unfinished. You'll need to make 794 of these costing around 16 GP per XP and in total costing 1.9 mil and taking 21 minutes. From 66 to 72 you'll be making super defense pots which are made by adding white berries to Time potion. This costs 9 GP per XP, you'll have to make 2412 of these and it will cost you a total of 4.6 million and take just over an hour. This is where the price starts to add up. From 72 all the way to 81 you'll be making super ranging potions which are currently made by adding dwarf weed potions to the wine of Zamorak. You'll need to make 7,961 of these at a cost of 15 GP per XP. In total, this is going to set you back 20.5 million and will take you 3.5 hours. From 81 to 88, you're making Saradomin brews using crushed bird's nest on a toad flax potion and finished. You need to make 12,814 of these, costing nearly 20 GP per XP. This is where the cost really starts to add up. This will cost you 46 million and take you five and a half hours. So here's the point where you come to a crossroads. If you want overloads and have cash to spare, you can make extremes in this point in preparation for overloads at 96. And then make overloads all the way to 99. However, at the time of this video, this will currently cost you 223 million. Or if you don't want overloads or don't have the money for this, you could make Sarah Brews till 94 and then at 94 make prayer renewals to 99. This method costs 144 million which is a significant difference so it's just down to personal preference really. With the overload method from levels 88 you'll make 3350 of each extreme potion and 8466 of the extreme magic potion as this is the cheapest and is very quick XP actually and this will take you to level 96. So there are 5 types of extreme to make and you make them in this order. For extreme attacks you add clean avinto to super attack. For extreme strength you add clean dwarf weed to super strength. For extreme defense you add land and time to super defense. For extreme magic you add ground mud runes to super magic. And for extreme ranging you add green wall spike to super ranging. You'll make a total of 21,866 extremes and this will take you around 9 to 11 hours. And then you'll make your overloads to 99 by combining all the extremes and adding a clean torso. So on to the second option here and I think the better option, especially if you don't have the money, is the sour brews and prayer potions. So you'll continue from 88 to 94 making sour dome and brews. You'll need to make 19,771 of these costing 20 GP per XP and in total 71 million and taking 8 to 9 hours. And finally from 94 to 99 making prayer renewals potions. You'll need to make 26,788 of these costing only 14 GP per XP and a total of 73 million and taking roughly 12 hours. So the profitable but incredibly slow method that I wouldn't recommend but if this floats your boat, the option is there, um, is cleaning herbs. So I'd probably recommend getting to 25 herb lore first to clean Raynards to make a bit of profit off of them by using one of the previous methods. So in the description is a link to the herb cleaning calculator page on the RS wiki, I'll leave a link in the description for you. It basically just says if you clean a herb, how much XP you'll get and the profit you'll get on them. So, as a quick example, the Foul Stalk, which are the best XP herb in the game, and also I think the most profitable at the time. <laughs> you'll need to clean 775,858 
taking you only 344 hours. Yeah. And this is at 4,500 herbs clean per hour, which is a fairly fast rate to keep up consistently, which, I mean, it's absolutely insane. So the way I'd use this method, really, of cleaning herbs is you can actually make some decent money off them. You're better off with other money-making methods, but if, if you want to train herbal while making money, you kind of could do it. Is once you run out of money, do a couple of hours of like cleaning Raynars or cleaning whatever the most profitable is at the time that you can do. And then you get in your herbal XP and then you've got a bit of cash to then go and buy other potions and ingredients to do one of the other methods. That's the only way I'd recommend using this. So there we have it guys, if this guide has helped you in any way be sure to leave a like and check out my other videos on the channel as there's a strong chance they'll also be of use to you. But thanks very much for watching anyway and if there's anything I've missed or could improve on let me know in the comment section down below and see you later.